Equinox Portal and Conscious Contact. March 16, 2014. Greetings, we are the Pleiadians, and we come forth in grace and with unconditional love for every being upon this plane and beyond. We come with a deeper understanding and a knowing about your planetary ascension and the stages it is lingering in. As a deeper consciousness is being achieved by many of the collective upon your planes of reality, there are many new opportunities and possibilities being created and even manifested into your own collective, and your personal reality. What we wish to speak about in this now moment on your earthly planes, is the equinox energies or portal and its effect on each individual existence and reality. Be brave our fellow light workers, brothers and sisters, for this new wave and amount of solar energy will hit the nail on the head concerning many things and earthly realities that have been playing out for several years now. Drastic changes are upon your plane as the collective and many of your light workers have been yearning, creating and decreeing many of those changes. There will be shedding quakes in the form of energy waves and literally huge amounts of releasing density and releasing old patterns, forms, creations. That what once was old and inconvenient shall not be any more and fade away like dust in the wind. The equinox is here to assist many of you on your path to become multidimensional in your own frequency and vibration of the highest possible energy of you. This shall bring forth some granting such as first personal contact in your own reality first before the collective will be involved in those interactions. Why is it important to start those first contacts initially on a real, physical level, your own level? Because when you become aware and ready for those levels of interaction in your own way and vibration, the collective is being infused with acceptance and love, with an understanding of our existence and our presence on your earthly planes. As each and every one of you are a part of the oneness and of your earthly collective, you prepare the way for others to be in connection with our being on a deeper level and with a deeper understanding or acceptance. It is all about the acceptance of our existence that we like to work on and that is more than just knowing we are here in the now, it is also a seeing and a feeling of our presence around you as well as within you. Gatekeepers and ground crew are the first to be in connection with our energies as you are ready for this. The first waivers of this ascension process are already in alignment with our being and our presences as they have been preparing for all of this a long time now. Their time is now to assist in first contact, and this goes through their own embodiments and presences, through their realities. You will know when you are a first waiver and you will be approached by our energies in all sorts of forms and ways. Do not look for us in the physical appearance, beloved ones for we might simply be adjusting to your energies in the most refined and the highest way possible to become tangible for you to see. Remember that seeing is not solely through the physical eye and your visual senses, but we speak here of seeing us with the inner eye of truth. All sorts of forms and manifestations are possible, but we will always choose the way that serves your highest best, and this preferably in the most natural way of our being that is possible. We will take it step by step. As always, for your balance and ability to cope with all of this is our first concern and our main priority. First waivers, be ready for this and soak in the energies of this beautiful equinox portal. As to the collective and the light workers who are stepping up to their own natural self, to their I am presence and to the Christ consciousness, a lot of love and codes are going to be infused in all of those ones in order to prepare for this phase that is already coming for the first waivers. Nobody and nothing will be left behind or will be left to be forgotten, for all is part of the oneness that is called being. You will always be, and there is no way that you cannot be, for being is existence and existence is infinite. We are the Pleiadians. Channeled by Melaine LaFont. MelaineLafont.com. PleiadeDolphinInfos.blogspot.com.